Hey folks, it's Robin Clayton, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Zodi C at the Farm. It's so wonderful to be here with all of you. I hope everyone is um, getting out and doing things as this release of, um, of our time inside. It looks to be uh, subsiding a bit, so I know they opened up the beaches over here in Southwest Florida. So um, I think things are, are looking up, uh, hopefully, for all of us. Anyways, so today, yes, I'm going to be working on a new flower it's gonna be two pieces just like that it's this gorgeous crystal flower I've already pre-drilled the hole on this one and I'll, I'll include that in with the video and then I've got this gorgeous flower petal okay that will act as an orb for me when I assemble uh, these pieces okay so stay with me because as I said I'm going to show you my techniques from A to Z on how to make these beautiful glass flowers okay see you soon okay let me go over quickly just a, a real uh, quick uh, review of the items that you're going to need to complete this project. You're going to need your dishes already cleaned and ready to go. You're going to need uh, some rubber washers, gloves, as well as protective eyewear. You're going to need this toggle bolt. I'm using a larger toggle bolt because I've got a larger orb here. Uh, you need a Phillips head screwdriver and you need your hook and that should be everything that you need to know. The uh, list of items will also be listed in the description box below. Go ahead and take my, my hook that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna line it up, and I'm gonna take my toggle, and I'm gonna stick that straight through just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place it there through the hole and turn it over carefully and then I'm gonna go ahead and put another rubber washer right there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my toggle started. And that should just twist all the way down. And then I'm going to, once I've got that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna take my plate, or my orb rather, and I'm just going to push that straight through just like that, okay? And I wanna make sure that the orb has taken it. Okay, and so now the orb has taken uh, the uh, initial dish here, the, the um, crystal flower. All right, so now I know that that's taken care of. I'm gonna turn it over very carefully, okay? And I'm going to take my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten it down. I've been working out in the yard most of the day because it's just so amazingly beautiful outside. I think it's like 78 and breezy. It's just perfect uh, weather to, to, uh, to work on outside. All right, so here we go. This is a Mikasa uh, tulip uh, crystal flower. Uh, you can find these you know, on e Amazon, eBay, uh, your Salvation Army, uh, Goodwill, um, any thrift store may possibly have them. And then I've got this gorgeous flower petal. And, I, and it's actually sort of like an orange. It's an orange right here in the center and then it's got this blue right here as the center of the piece. Okay, so I just think it looks amazing. Turn it to the side. Picasso's are amazing. 
they're so absolutely beautiful. I love them so much. And then to add this flower petal, I just think it looks amazing. So in, um, in a minute or so, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks on the mount, uh, as well as on the stake that um, you would use when mounting it outside. Okay, see you soon. Nicely on this mount. Um, but I would get maybe something a little bit larger, but just for the purposes of showing you as an example, that's what it would look like in the, on the mount. And that looks amazing. Okay, that's on the mount. Okay, and then here it is. Just me holding it. I just think that looks absolutely amazing. So, so this is a chair cover that you can get uh, from the dollar store or Walmart or Amazon and they work really well uh, with the um with the hook okay and then you can paint it whatever color you like but here's an example of this beautiful flower on a stand that you could mount um, outside or you know at your front door or you know in your garden um, on the back of your barn or just to, it's, to me it's so beautiful i would probably keep it inside, but that's not the purpose of these. Although it could be, it's, a, it's entirely up to you guys. I just absolutely love this uh, flower. I think it, it has a pop of color and it's got that beautiful crystal Mikasa supporting plate. And I just think it looks magnificent on its stand. And with the hook, the hook I think gives it a little extra pop with the, um, the white. So I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you love the flower. Please uh, leave in the comment section whether you like it or not, or if you have any questions, just please leave it in the comment section. I love to get comments from y'all. I'm gonna call this flower the Orange Alicious Crystal Flower because it's so magnificent. It really is beautiful. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you have, please again hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button and share the videos with your friends. I know that people are always trying to find new ideas for their garden. Uh, if you um, have any questions, you can email me at zodiacatthefarm at gmail.com. You can also find my glass at, on etsy.com, Robin Clayton, uh, Zodiac Glass Shop, and uh, uh, you can also find them on my website at zodiacatthefarm.com. And uh, I think that pretty much wraps everything up. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I send many blessings your way. And I hope to see you next week here at Zodiac at the Farm. Take care. Bye-bye.